just this week on Clean Classics. <laughs> yeah, more or less, yeah. This week I have been mostly making bush housings. <laughs> I've uh, been Johnny, he's been Bastardi. Got ouchy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ollie from Clean Classics. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This week in the Clean Classics workshop, we've been over at Hastingly Garage using their CNC plasma cutter, cutting out some prototype parts and some end use parts, progressing on from the CAD we were looking at last week. Johnny's been over in, in a local machine shop, sorting out some, some of the parts we need for future builds. Okay, so we just got back from Hastingly Garage and the guys around the corner there, they've got a CNC plasma cutter. This is all a bit of a follow on from what we were talking about in the last video on the CAD. The CAD designs progress nicely. We're getting to the point where we are starting to prototype and even make end use parts. When we come up with an initial design, it's really important that we can validate and, and verify that we've got all the dimensions right, bolts in right, you know, they, we haven't forgotten the cable needs to come out there, it needs a hole. All of these things, you want to do it quickly and cheaply. The stuff we that goes into our series twos and threes that's in batch form is laser cut and CNC folded. So it's we order it in batch, there's a there's a lead time associated. It's more expensive but it's excellent quality. But we know exactly we know it fits, we know it's good. When we make the very first one, we don't want to be ordering a batch because we could we could order several of something that doesn't fit or doesn't work properly. This is where the guys at Hastingly Garage come in. We get some metal in, we, we pop around the corner and and we can we can try our stuff out. This part here is actually going to be a final part, but these parts here, we, we're going to check some profiles, but, but making it in, in metal um, means that as opposed to doing it in a piece of paper or a bit of card, you can't, you can't warp it or bend it to sort of meet your will it has to go in where it goes so we'll we'll line these up bolt them in into the mount points check check everything's in the right place but we've done it in a thinner steel to start with just as a as a mock-up because we know it's tight it's very difficult to get all of the positions exactly right when when you're getting quite close to stuff so so mocking it out like this is really sensible so this part here is is going to be a charger holder for the series one effectively we it's, it's a simple enough shape that we know we know where we're at we know it's going to be good enough if there's a mistake in it it's probably going to be a whole position slightly wrong we can slot it out in the mill we can we can drill another hole we can we can modify it by hand and it, it, it the, the the cost and time associated is so much less already invested into it that, that it doesn't matter for this one that we can modify it. But critically, we then know what we need to change in the CAD when we come to order a batch of, of this part. We can then issue that out properly, order a batch, and we know, we know it's going to fit because we've already tested it. The good thing is, doing it this way, there's actually nothing massively wrong with it, but the quality goes up when, when, uh, when you go to the batch, and it saves us time in the long run mainly but actually this this is going to be perfectly good it it, it works both as a prototype and an end use part which is a win-win for us so we can test it you know there's a very very small chance it's complete scrap in which case we haven't wasted a load of time we haven't wasted a load of money it's there's nothing wrong with modifying this as is to suit some small iterations or changes that need making um but yeah so so this is this is uh it's really handy having these guys around the corner. If you want want anything cut out of metal and our local, we'll, we'll put um, James at Hastingley's number and, and contact details in the description. And uh, and yeah, get, get in touch with them. They're, they're really handy and, and yeah, they'll do all sorts of stuff. Um, we've just been making these turn parts on the lathe. The turn parts start off as bits of stock metal that are various sizes depending on what you're making. Um, so we'll go and have a look over in the lathe at uh, basing this off and machining it out to make a to make a to make a housing. Made 
up a, a blank for the um, clutch pedal um, for the Series 1 and a couple of front motor mount spacers there, just some little turn collars. And then these are bush housings that will be welded into the motor mounts um, to take the metal elastic bushes to mount the motors to our subframe. Please like, share, subscribe on our videos. Uh, it really helps us a lot. We're trying to get this uh, YouTube channel up and running. One of the things I've been up to is working on the programming for our vehicle system. It runs the user interface vehicle integration. We use this great product from the guys at Hardwire Electronics and they, they really support us so well in, in making it work in our slightly unusual application, but, but it's, 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 a, it's a cracking product for making our system just stand out to be a bit more unique than other, other, other things as a real important piece of the puzzle for us. Each build we do, we progress the programming in, in how everything works, most of which the end user will not know the difference, but it, but it, but it's, um, but it always moves forwards with these things. It's a, su it's a super complex thing to just get right out of the box and, and have all the detail you want out of the box. So, um, but we've got to the point now where it's progressed enough that we're rolling out some updates, effective software updates across, across the vehicles that we've done. Starting with Purdy here, you, you might recognize from previous videos. What's really important when you do a software update is testing it properly in the vehicle because I can't, I, I could always get, I'm always really surprised by how a small detail change on a parameter here impacts something completely different in terms of in, in the way the system responds and, and sometimes like we, we we put over the top of the system that's in it we put our own error cuts and and sort of what happens to the vehicle when it's starting to run out of charge things like that that we've added in our own system it gives a bit more feedback to the user is, is the idea it's taken a bit of tuning to get all that feeling right and yeah you sometimes you find yourself changing a parameter completely different and it impacting some of the way that the calculations happen over, over in a completely different area of the programming. So getting it tested, feeling how it works is really important. So that's some of the work we've been doing this week. We've got the update into, into Purdy and it's running really nicely now. So it's just about getting through a charge cycle and, and just running it in, in, in all of the normal um, modes of operation just to see if there's, there's anything that, that we, any oversights, any, any little uh, niggles in the programming. So following on from yesterday, when we cut out this, uh, this frame, um, we've now folded it up, welded it up, and we're offering it up in place in the chassis um, with the charger unit um, to make sure everything's gone to plan. It's fitting really well, uh, really happy with it. Um, there were a couple of small tweaks we had to make, but, but nothing major. We opened a couple of holes out um, and that's about it. So, so yeah, this one's a winner. So as you can see, we've started to mock up the powertrain mounts and stuff for the Series 1. Um, these were cut out on the plasma cutter yesterday. Um, and I think you went and saw that. So um, yeah, we're just checking bolt locations and clearances and making sure everything fits. Um, as well on the Series 1, we've also, the steering box has been rebuilt. That's all back in. Um, so yeah, the next, the next bits of the Series 1 are all, are all going together. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe and share and um, let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next time.